Arika Johnson. 17M. Shared with public. Tremors, unstoppable threat. Scene 1, a quiet town. The sun rises over the dusty, desolate town of perfection, Nevada. The morning light reveals a scene of tranquility, with nothing stirring except for the occasional tumbleweed rolling across the deserted streets. Valm Key, Kevin Bacon, and Earl Bassett, Fred Ward, are seen enjoying a quiet breakfast at their favorite diner, reminiscing about the old days and the recent calm after the chaotic attacks they once faced. Val, taking a sip of coffee you know, Earl, I kind of miss the excitement. Can you believe it's been almost a year since we last saw a graboid? Earl, chuckling be careful what you wish for, Val. You never know when another one might pop up. Suddenly, the ground trembles slightly, causing the mugs on the table to clink. Both men exchange worried glances, the calm moment interrupted by a growing sense of unease. Scene 2, The Tremor. Val and Earl rush outside to investigate. The ground shakes more violently, sending small rocks and dust into the air. They notice fissures forming in the earth. An old, familiar fear grips them. Val, that's no ordinary quake. We've got to check the area. Earl, agreed. Let's get to the source of this before it gets any worse. They jump into their truck and head towards the epicenter of the tremor. The road ahead is littered with cracks and small debris from the shaking earth. Scene 3, An Unexpected Arrival. As they drive, they spot a large, ominous cargo truck approaching from the horizon. The truck is heavily armored and bears strange symbols. Val and Earl exchange curious glances. Earl, looks like someone's here to join the party. Val, let's find out who and what they're up to. They pull over and watch as the truck skids to a stop. A team of scientists in protective gear unloads strange equipment and begins setting up sensors and devices around a newly formed sinkhole. Scene 4, Meeting the Scientists. Val and Earl approach the scientists, led by Dr. Angela Frost, Emma Stone, a geologist with a serious demeanor. She looks up from her equipment, startled by their sudden appearance. Dr. Frost, can I help you gentlemen? Val, we couldn't help but notice the commotion. What's going on here? Dr. Frost, we're investigating unusual seismic activity. It seems like the tremors are coming from deep underground. We've seen these patterns before, but never with this magnitude. Earl, you don't think it's... Dr. Frost, we're not sure yet, but we're preparing for the worst. Scene 5, A Familiar Face. As the team works, an old pickup truck with a familiar logo rumbles into view. Bert Gummer, Michael Gross, the town's resident survivalist and expert on grabboards, emerges, his face lined with determination. He's armed to the teeth, with an assortment of weapons strapped to his gear. Bert, greeting Val and Earl well, well, if it isn't my old pals. I heard the rumblings and figured I'd drop by. You might need a hand. Val, Bert, good to see you. You've come just in time. Earl, we're dealing with something big this time. These tremors aren't ordinary. Bert, I figured as much. I've got a feeling these tremors are just the start. Scene 6, The Real Threat. As Bert joins the team, the ground trembles again, this time with greater intensity. The team's sensors begin to beep furiously, indicating an imminent threat. Val and Earl watch in horror as a massive fissure opens up, revealing a large, toothy creature emerging from the depths. Val, shouting grabords, they're back. Earl, firing up his gun let's get to work. The grabords surge out of the hole, their massive bodies writhing and roaring. Val, Earl, and Bert scramble to set up explosives while Dr. Frost and her team try to evacuate. Scene 7, The Battle Begins. The town is plunged into chaos as the grabords begin to attack. Buildings shake and crumble under their assault. Val, Earl, and Bert, armed with high-powered rifles and explosives, start picking off the grabords, working together with practiced precision. Bert, aim for the mouth, boys. These things are tougher than before. Val, we're on it. But we've got to be careful. We don't want to take out the whole town. The fight is brutal and bloody. The grabords retaliate with relentless aggression, their attacks causing widespread destruction. 
Scene 8, A New Threat. In the middle of the battle, a new type of creature emerges, a graboid with elongated, razor-sharp tentacles, moving with terrifying speed. It's clear this new threat is more advanced and dangerous than any they've faced before. Dr. Frost, panicking what is that thing? But, analyzing the situation that's a new breed. I've never seen anything like it. We need to find a way to bring it down before it levels the whole town. Scene 9, The Plan. Val, Earl, and Bert regroup with Dr. Frost to devise a plan. Dr. Frost proposes using the seismic equipment to lure the graboids into a trap. Dr. Frost, we can use the sensors to create a series of vibrations, drawing the creatures into a concentrated area. But, sounds like a plan. Let's set it up and hope it works. The team races against time to set up the equipment and position explosives around the designated trap area. Scene 10, The Final Showdown. The plan is set into motion. The seismic devices emit powerful vibrations, drawing the graboids and the new, more dangerous creature into the trap. Val, Earl, and Bert trigger the explosives, causing a massive explosion that collapses the ground beneath the creatures. Val, now's our chance. Finish them off. Val, Earl, and Bert, covered in grime and sweat, fight the remaining graboids with renewed vigor. The new creature, weakened by the explosion, is ultimately brought down. Scene 11, The Aftermath. As the dust settles, the town of perfection is left in ruins. Val, Earl, and Bert, exhausted but victorious, survey the damage. Val, well, we did it. But this town won't be the same. Earl, no, it won't. But at least it's safe, at least for now. Bert, we've seen worse, but this new breed was something else. We'll need to keep an eye out for more trouble. Dr. Frost and her team finish their analysis, confirming that the immediate threat is over. The town begins the long process of recovery, with Val, Earl, and Bert reflecting on the latest battle. Val, here's hoping we don't have to deal with this kind of trouble again. Earl, yeah, let's take a break before the next disaster finds us. As the sun sets over the battered town, Val, Earl, and Bert walk off into the distance, ready to face whatever comes next. Like. Comment. Share.